Yeah, so this is a project I've been working on uh, about two years now, and it's uh, it's great to finally see it up on the wall somewhere, and it's great to have it have an opportunity here in Cardiff. So thanks to Photon for doing that. Um, yeah, a lot of my work normally is is pretty standard landscape work that I've I've exhibited up before in the Brecon Beacons, and it's it's good to meet uh, to to get to a, a more cosmopolitan audience that will maybe appreciate some of the work that I like producing as well. Um, so yeah, have, after two years worth of work. To, to put this together, it's nice to so say, nice to see it up on the wall. Um, it's it's a great space they've got here down in Cardiff um, in Little Man Cafe. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's in a in a great location right in the city centre as well. So the, I mean, initially the the project came about um, a bit by accident, really. There, there was a fantastic location that I found, but I couldn't really seem to bring out the details in that location because it was very dark. And so I had been using some negative processing for some other, other series that I've been working on. So I thought I'd give that a go and see if that worked. And suddenly it transformed the image completely uh, and, and really brought out the details that I was looking for. And I thought, oh, this is great. You know, maybe, maybe, th maybe this is something I could take further or, or maybe it's just a one-off. And I didn't really know at that stage. But I, I gave it a go, went out for the next couple of weeks looking for new locations, some of which worked, some of which didn't. But I, I found enough new locations and enough interest in these sort of small areas, dark spaces, underneath trees and at the edge of riverbanks that uh, gave me the impetus to go on and, and spend uh, the next 18 months or so collecting new images and, and processing them in the same way. Uh, and it's quite interesting the sort of details that have been revealed. Um, you know, just looking at the pictures on the wall here, you'll see that they're not immediately obviously landscape details. I mean, they could be fantasy lands, they, they could be strange creatures. And that's really the whole point is to, is to show that there's a, a new and interesting world hidden beneath your feet, places that people will, will walk past and, and not notice on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I spend a lot of time in the forest. A lot of my images um, for this series uh, were taken in the forest and a lot of my recent images that I've been taking also in the forest. And I, I like the forest because it's, it's a place where a lot of people don't go. It's, it's, uh, it's very isolated. Um, sometimes people think you have to spend vast amounts of money to travel the world as a landscape photographer to, to try and find more and more exotic places that people haven't been to. Um, but the reality is there's lots of places just down the road from you. It's just that you know, they take a little bit more effort to, uh, and sometimes a bit more bravery uh, to, to you know, cross that boundary into that darkness of the forest to, to explore somewhere new.